The end goal inside of Clash of Clans is to go and max out your base and reach the highest league inside the game. However, that is the one thing that Supercell doesn't want you to do and it is why Clash of Clans is designed for you to lose. I know that may sound really weird and it just sounds backwards, so today I'll be going over exactly what I mean by that. To understand why Supercell doesn't want players to max out quickly, we first need to look at the business model of free to play games like Clash of Clans. These games are free to download and play, which makes them accessible to just about anyone with access to the internet. However, the companies behind these games still need to make money because running the servers and paying the developers is not cheap at all, and this is where the freemium model comes into play. In the freemium model, the basic game is free, but players can choose to spend money on in-app purchases. These purchases might include special items, resources, or features that help players progress faster or enjoy the game more. This model has become very popular in mobile gaming because it allows games to reach a large number of players while still generating revenue, and Clash of Clans was really like one of the first mobile games to adopt this model. For the freemium model to be successful, games need to do two main things. First, they need to keep players interested in the game for a long period of time. The longer players stay engaged with the game, the more chances they have to make purchases. Second, they need to create incentives for players to spend money. These incentives should be attractive enough to encourage purchases, but not so necessary that free players feel like they can't enjoy the game. And an example of this is Clash Royale since that game started as a freemium game, however now it is a pay to win game and that has caused many people to dislike and quit the game. But Clash of Clans is obviously different from that. The game is designed to be enjoyable for free players, ensuring a large and active player base. At the same time, it offers many opportunities for players to speed up their progress or or gain advantages by spending money and this balance is crucial to the success of the game. Right now, the game definitely seems to be getting a little off balance with it moving closer towards becoming another Clash Royale, but we'll talk more about that later in the video. But anyways, the game's long term progression system is a key part of their strategy. By making it take a long time to upgrade everything in the game, Supercell ensures that players always have goals to work towards. This keeps them coming back to the game day after day, week after week, and even year after year. The longer players stay engaged, the more likely they are to eventually make a purchase. And this is where the main topic of this video comes into play. If players could quickly reach the highest levels for all their buildings and troops, they might feel like they've completed the game. This could lead to boredom and cause players to stop playing. By always having something to upgrade or improve, players have a reason to keep coming back to the game and that gives them more time to spend money on the game. And the overall difficulty of maxing out also encourages in-app purchases. When upgrades take a long time or require a lot of resources, some players might be tempted to spend money to speed up the process. They might buy gems to finish an upgrade instantly or purchase special offers from the shop that offer various things and this is a key part of how Clash of Clans makes so much money. But there are also other reasons that don't include money, with one big one being new players. The higher up you get in town hall levels, the harder it gets to progress and it just takes a lot longer than the lower town hall levels. This is because Supercell needs to find a way to try and create a balance for new and older players so that both of them can enjoy the game. For a new player, they will be able to progress through the lower town hall levels a lot faster than the older players did and that helps close the gap between the older and newer players. However, progression slows down closer to the top so that everyone is kind of in a similar place and that is how the newer players basically catch up with the older players. So now that we've gone over a few reasons as for why Supercell doesn't want you to easily be able to max out your base, let's actually go over the game design that actually makes this possible. One of the most noticeable elements is time gated upgrades. In Clash of Clans, starting an upgrade doesn't complete it instantly, instead upgrades take real time to finish and this ranges from a few minutes for small upgrades to several days or even weeks for high level upgrades. This system ensures that progress gets slower the further up you get and it also just limits what you can do in a certain period of time because you only have a certain number of builders and that's also a big element in this. 
The game starts you off with two builders, however you have the ability to get up to six builders with most of them costing a lot of gems. And as of more recently, we have also seen the additions of the Goblin Builder and the Builder's Apprentice and both of them are supposed to be ways you can speed up progress, however they come at a steep price which essentially forces you to spend money on them or just save up over a long period of time. However, even with all of this, it can still take in months to max out a single town hall level. Also, another interesting thing is with the resources in the game. A couple of years ago, the two biggest problems when it came to upgrading would be with resources and time. However, we have seen that in the last couple of years, it has just become easier and easier to get resources in the home village, and now resources just really aren't even a problem. You had the removal of training costs, addition of sneaky goblins, and just a couple of other things that would mean you saved more resources and also got more resources. And honestly, resources just aren't that big of a problem anymore and this was something that was done deliberately. By making the resources a non-existent problem, Supercell was able to shift the focus to just the upgrade times. This is really just a massive psychological move because now players are faced with only one option instead of two. Instead of having to pick between spending gems on resources or time, now the only option they really have is time and that makes it more justifiable to spend those gems and makes it easier to spend those gems. With two options, there was a strong chance that people would just pick neither since spending gems on one would still mean the other was a problem and that would just not be worth it. But now, time is the most important resource and it is really the only thing you have to spend gems on and Supercell would make that even easier by adding the books to the trader shop and also adding the two new builders since their sole purpose is to help you save time. This means that it is harder to max out your base without spending money on these things and if you do decide to spend money then Supercell doesn't care if you max out your base or just speed up progression because they ended up getting the money which is the end goal when it comes to business. And most people typically spend money on time when they have been playing the game for a while and are at the higher town hall levels where things just take a lot more time and this is why everything I talked about earlier with player retention is so important. But Another method that Supercell uses to keep you from maxing out is just them adding in new things. The most common thing is just new levels to different buildings and troops after the addition of a new town hall. This basically just shifts the goalposts further back without actually needing to add anything super new and this just increases the time it would take to max out which means you have to play the game longer. Also, like I mentioned earlier, it has been easier for people to get resources and just progress in the game overall, especially because now we are getting a lot of events and these things give rewards that just help make progression faster and just recently we had the Unlimited Heroes event which was the biggest event we have had when it comes to progression. All of these things basically just make it easier to max out and go against what I've been saying throughout the video, however that isn't actually the case. You see all of this is factored in and Supercell is doing it on purpose because it just is a very smart move. These events make it seem like you are able to progress faster which is completely true and that makes the players happy and makes the game just a lot better because people are happy to play the game. However, to balance this out, Supercell is also now releasing town halls a lot faster. Instead of the usual 18 month time frame, it is now reduced to 12 months and this is something that is just factored into all of these events. Even though you now progress faster and can get close to maxing out your base, new town halls also get added in faster. This means that you will just have a whole new town hall to work towards despite it seeming like you were almost maxed out. Also, this just raises the point that it is actually impossible to fully max out in the game unless Supercell just stops adding in new town halls and new content. You will only be maxed out for a certain amount of time before a new town hall gets added and you are forced to get back on the grind to max out this new town hall level. And this stage of the game is also quite fragile because it is in between maxing your town hall and waiting for a new one that most people end up losing interesting in the game or just end up playing a lot less and they just never fully pick back up once a new town hall gets added. So overall Clash of Clans just doesn't want you to max out unless you get there by spending money because at the end of the day this game is still a business and they need to generate a profit in order to keep it running. 
I don't think that this method is a bad thing because whether you realize it or not, this is being done in the best interest of the players as well as the company. By making it so it is really hard to max out, people always have something to look forward to and that prevents them from just getting bored once they're max and really just have nothing to look forward to. In Clash of Clans, maxing out is typically the end goal and what people think is the best thing in the game. However, the best part is just the journey getting up to that point since afterwards there is just nothing to do. This is why the design of this game is so good. However, we have been seeing that sometimes it can lean towards being a little too extreme with one big example being the hero equipment. But overall, as long as Supercell can find a good balance for the game, I think everything will end up being fine and the game will continue to retain so many players. But that's also it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.